Hello there, this is Scott and today is going to be vlog day and I've got to start off by saying a massive thank you to everybody who left a really nice sort of a warm, friendly and a positive comments and feedback on my first ever vlog video. Um, to get that sort of response was pretty mind blowing because I genuinely didn't even think people would particularly watch it and I thought if they do watch it then they're just going to say no, don't bother or meh, you know, so uh, to get that sort of... Um, response was, was like I said it was pretty mind blowing so thank you to everybody who took the time out of the day to uh, leave some uh, nice positive feedback and also a thank you to uh, Todd over at Todd e Todd's eSig Reviews uh, he does vlog videos and in his vlog video he mentioned that I'm doing a vlog video and he gave me some uh, nice sort of uh, comments on that as well there so thank you to Todd okay so this means that I will be continuing doing the vlog videos but uh, I've got to be honest um I didn't really sort of plan it further than the stage of uploading that first one. I just thought, well, I'll upload it, but, you know, it's probably not going to go any further than this. So I didn't really sort of think too much past it because I generally thought that people was going to say, no, don't bother. So it has left me with that sort of slight issue of, well, what do I do now in these vlog videos every week? What the hell do I talk about? Um, so I'm not too sure if people want to know about what I do in my sort of private life. I don't know if people want to see me go and get my hair cut and all that sort of crap. You know, I don't mean things like that literally, but, you know, do people want this to be strictly vaping? Do they want it to be a bit of vaping and a bit of about what I get up to? Which isn't a great deal to be quite honest. I don't leave the most exciting life in the world. Um, but So I'm not too sure what you want. But um, I think the best thing to do is if you guys can help me out by making your suggestions, if there's sort of questions that you'd like me to answer, if there's topics that you'd like me to discuss... Uh, if there's any sort of um, ideas for sort of regular features in the vlog, so I you know every vlog video has this sort of a uh, little feature where I talk about something or do something, etc., etc. You know, any ideas at all uh, which could possibly help me out would be very much appreciated. Basically, so you know, leave your leave your um, yeah, leave it all in the uh, in the comments box in the uh, YouTube description. No, not in the YouTube description. I'm getting tongue tied there. I'm all confused. There. <laughs> leave your um, suggestions, that's the word, in the comments box on YouTube, then I'll be able to get hold of them. Oh, blimey. All right, okay. Um, this is going to be a fairly short one today because the kids are on half term, which means I can't really get um, a lot of recording done. This is actually going to be the only uh, recording that I'll be uploading this week because the last set of kids' holidays uh, was just as we were sort of like moving, and so like we didn't really sort of do anything with the kids at all so we said like next time they're on holiday you know we're going to make uh, a bit more of an effort i managed to keep them quiet now for about sort of 10 minutes and i've asked them to stay quiet for about another 10 minutes just so i can uh, get this uh, vlog video uploaded because i want to get something uploaded uh, especially after the like the first vlog video where people left like really nice comments i didn't want you guys to think i've just sort of forgotten all about it or just sort of uh, completely ignored you but uh, because uh, you know i need to obviously concentrate on the kids this week and uh show them a, uh, I don't know what we're going to do to be quite honest, but you know, we're going to think of something, but uh, I'll be sort of concentrating on that rather than doing the reviews. But after that, you know, be back to normal. And like I said, the idea is that there's a, <laughs> there's a big cat outside the window there. The idea is that there um, is going to have a, a vlog video on a Monday. I know it's not Monday today, but like I said, this week's a little bit different, but it'll be vlog video on a Monday, review on a Wednesday, review on a Friday. That is the plan, whether I can actually uh, work that out or not is another matter. Um, right, so I'll quickly talk about uh, something I purchased uh, on the the 19th of October, so around, what's the date now? Yes, around sort of like a week ago now, and it's the Steam Crave Aromamizer, Aromamizer, RDTA. Now, um, these have been sort of quite popular. I know Rip Trippers done a, a review a little while ago and he was raving on about it and a few of my sort of uh, vaping buddies have written to me said, oh, you want to get hold of one of these. Pretty good price. I got my one from, what was it, Cambridge Vaping. That was the only place, cambridgevaping.co.uk, that was the only place I could find that actually had them in stock. And they have a 6mm version and a 3mm version. Now, I bought the 3mm version, but I also got the 6mm no, I didn't. I bought the 6mm version, but I bought the Velocity 
No, yeah, the Velocity deck, which is, a, I've not even used it yet, actually, that deck, and I'll get to that in a minute, but um, it comes with like a standard sort of atomizer deck. We can get another one where you can have like your vertical coils, basically. And uh, they also had it included in the package uh, what I think is like a pre-built dual coil setup. Um, like to look at, it looks like a regular sort of um, atomizer deck, as though you've made up the coils and put your cotton through yourself. It doesn't look like a, for example, a Kanga sub tank sort of pre-built uh, atomizer head. Uh, it looks very different. It looks like something that um, you've actually done yourself. But on the side, it does say uh, or have engraved like 0.3 ohms. Um, but literally, no, I took out the package, I thought I was one already made up there, whacked that in there, and I've been using it for the last week now, and it's still vaping uh, just as good as the day I first got it. And, uh, you know, absolutely um, no wicking issues whatsoever. It wicks brilliantly. And I've got it on my box at the moment at uh, 40 watts, 0.3 ohm dual coil build. So that's 0.3 ohms total combined resistance. You see, no, it um, produces lots of vapour and the flavour is excellent. I've literally got nothing bad to say about it at the moment, apart from one thing, it came with um, a vape band. You've got these like quite big old air holes going around the outside and it had like a, a big thick plastic sort of rubbery band on it. And you have to, if you want to sort of tighten off the, or close off the air holes, you have to actually slide all the band around. But uh, I thought that looked pretty wanky, so I just sort of biffed that off. And I think it looks it looks nice like that, with just the, uh, the stainer still showing. And um, in terms of performance, you know, I like to have it with the air holes wide open these days anyway. It's just what I'm, I used to always do like the old mouth to lung inhales, whereas now I'm always sort of a direct lung inhale, I just prefer it now. And, um, you know, I've said it quite a few times, and I'm a big fan of these sort of cheaper, sort of Chinese mass-produced uh, tanks that you can get these days because China are knocking out of the park. You know, they really are coming up trumps. But, you know, probably one of the things I use the most would be like a Kanga sub-tank just because um, with like the, like the pre-built atomizer heads in there as well, they just perform brilliantly, you know, getting lots of flavour, lots of vapour, piss easy to uh, set up and use. And uh, I think they look pretty snazzy as well. And like, you know, you get things like this, uh, the uh, Steam Crave Aromamizer, or ar Aromamizer, whatever it's fucking called, I don't know. But when you get like these things as well, and it's like, um, that on its own, it was £19.57. I think you got that on the VAT, if I recall correctly. The grand total, including all the shipping and everything, plus the extra parts I bought was like 35 nigger. So, you know... It's still a pretty good price, really, and it's uh, you know it performs just as good as any of these sort of topping that is. In my personal opinion, I know the uh, other people will probably disagree, but you know it doesn't you know, it performs a treat, really. And uh, yeah, that is um, I'm trying to think. I think that has been the only sort of thing. Uh, worth talking about that I've purchased over the last week or so or since I've done the uh, like the last vlog, vlog video but uh, yeah it's been a, a cracking vote no problems there at all uh, like I said I won't, there won't be any reviews uploaded this week the next review to be uploaded I think is going to be the uh, the full Garis um, what else do you have one and I've got to get the uh, um, do, 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 do. I think it's the uh, like rock. I thought it was actually a disposable cigar, but it isn't. It's actually a rechargeable cigar. So it's going to take a little bit longer now because uh, I didn't want to start using that until I started doing a review because I was you know use it if the battery only lasts like you know three or four hours and that's it. You know I've got nothing to actually show you in the review, so I tend to if it's a disposable item, I will sort of sh show you unboxing it and then sort of vaping on it, and then sort of come back a few hours later and let you know how it's still going sort of thing. But uh, it's actually rechargeable. I didn't even realise that, so I've got to start using that sort of properly now. Uh, so that review will be a little bit longer, but I think the next one's going to be the full guys. And there's nothing. For some reason, I get like brain farts when I have to think of what's coming up. And uh, I know there's something else that's uh, ahead of the uh, of both of those. Actually, what the fucking was it? Oh well, I'll think of it anyway. But um, yeah, there will be some reviews coming up, but obviously that'll be uh, the following week.
Okay, um, I think it's amazing that my kids have managed to stay this quiet for this long. And so I don't want to sort of push me like they've been pretty good. It's been relatively quiet. The only sort of minor intrusion has been a random cat that just sort of <laughs> jumped up at the window. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap it up there, keep it a little bit sort of short and sweet for this uh, second vlog. Um, and then uh, hopefully from next week, um, I should have some, some good things to talk about. Hopefully, anyway, and especially if you guys give me your suggestions. So, like, once again, I please leave all your uh, suggestions now in the YouTube comments box. I can just hear my kids starting to run about now, so it's probably good time. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, thank you very much for the, uh, the positive feedback, and uh, have a good week, and a happy vaping. See you later. Definitely making a fucking racket now. <laughs>